Hi, I'm Lexi Heatley. I've been a proud member of the Fleur de community for over 40 years. I was lucky enough to start there as a mid, become a CT, a staff member, a director, a parent, an alum, a corporation member, a neighbor on Laurel Lake, and I would consider myself an historian of all things Fleur de camp. It's been heartbreaking not to have Fleur de open for the summer of 2020 to host girls and women in a community that so many of us consider a second home and a second family where we can be our authentic selves. So many of us have gained strength, independence, lifelong friends, a love of being in nature, and without a doubt, some of the best belly laughs of our lives. In order to make sure camp is ready to host girls in 2021, we need your help. Do you know that there have been many times throughout Fleur de 90 year history it has faced challenges, but because of the support, dedication, and commitment from its community, FDL has come back better than ever, every time. Fleur de Camp opened on Laurel Lake in 1929, and a month later, the stock market crashed, marking the beginning of the Great Depression, which affected so many families. Families valued the Fleur de opportunity, and the following summer, the girls boarded the train to Fitzwilliam, and we came home again in 1930. In the summer of 1945, during World War II, the old, old dining hall, which was located to the left of the farmhouse, burned to the ground in the middle of the night. And despite the help of the National Guard to prepare meals, camp had to close early that year. And the girls wondered if they'd ever be able to return to camp. But after turning an old barn into the dining hall, which we now consider the old dining hall, our red building, the girls did come home again in 1946. In 1955, fire hit again when the old barn was struck by lightning in the middle of the night. Only smoky embers remained and the girls wept as they walked to breakfast the next morning. Over the winter, the community mobilized a fundraiser. A new barn, which is our current barn, was built and we came home again in 1956. On 9-11, 2001, the U.S. was tacked on our homeland. Parents wanted their children close, especially our junior age girls, and parents were reluctant to have campers who had to board planes because they were across the country or they were international campers to fly to camp. But ultimately, Families decided camp was the best place for their girls to be, and it was one of our largest enrollments in recent history. And we came home again in 2002. Our world and camp has been through many uncertain times, but every time our girls have returned. Please join me in giving. Be a part of having our girls come home again in 2021.